Hello comrade LEGO fans and welcome back to another video in my mini series where I represent my glorious Soviet marks. This video was requested by Tvarish Urter LEGO marks. Enough of the glorious Soviet team and let's present this mark. Now as you can see this isn't an ordinary LEGO truck, it looks more like a trailer truck. That's because the real truck is uh, a heavy-duty off-roader that was designed by great Soviet engineers to work on any train. You know, trees don't grow in parking lots. Well, some do, but that's not the point. I took a good look at some schematics and made the underbody as realistic as I could. Maybe some bigger wheels would have worked better, but I think these look good enough. Well. The whole mock is basically a cab over truck, this was used in the real trucks too, if you take a look you'll see what I'm talking about. You can see there's a straight line and the chassis goes from the rear of the truck to the front and you can basically just take the whole cab assembly off without uh, interfering with anything else. I use yellow because I have many special pieces in yellow and orange or light blue isn't that accessible for me. The front of the cab is done with these newish uh, rounded slopes that gave the rounded look. I personally love it. The grill should be the other way but LEGO doesn't make pieces like that. Yeah, so the grill should be like this. On top of the cab you have some extra lights, I found a black piece with this sticker and uh, put it on. on. top of the cab is just a basic piece used on many LEGO City vehicles and inside the cab there is a steering wheel and a shifter or shifting knob. Well, if you can see. Hmm. Uh, I don't really want to take it apart because it will fall off. Well, you can kind of see it from the front. Moving to the back, there is a smokestack or exhaust and the trailer lifting mechanism over there. After that, only a platform where you can stack the logs and where you can pull up the trailer when it isn't in use. Pretty much this. There is a prison door used as a cap protector bar or bash plate, whatever you want to call it. Let me just take out the trailer so you can see it a bit better. So that thing. Also the rear lights are on this uh, bar piece because don't really have space to put them under there and because of logging reasons. So yeah, a few details on this side and shovel clip on the other side inspired by LEGO City vehicles. And I also have a hammer over there because I picked that piece out of the bin and I didn't really know where to put it. So I kind of clipped it on that piece. On the rear you only have these two wedges that the trailer sits on and a ball hitch where you of course attach the trailer. The trailer design isn't 100% uh, mine, I got the inspiration from this guy Valo, Valo Vam if I'm not mistaken. The idea is that uh, you can't have a stationary hitch because when the trailer is pulled up you need the hitch up and when you use the trailer you need the hitch down. I use the hill brake as I like to call it. Let me show how the trailer works. The idea here is when they release the trailer they just like it slip down and uh, kind of break the rear axle of the trailer and the truck drives forward when the trailer doesn't fall out of its hitch so yeah the truck drives forward and voila the trailer is down so as you can see when the trailer is up you need the hitch up because otherwise it uh, won't pull up all the way and when you are pulling the trailer you need it at its position so the tray is made out of a few tiny pieces and the rear well I just got somewhat creative with it and the chains are of course for logging reasons but I kind of thought they look pretty cool. Let me show how you can pull up the trailer. So you need this uh, locking mechanism off 
and you have this red Technic piece. I kind of put it on for playability reasons, but uh, you pretty much start pulling, and you also put the hitch up, and hopefully the trailer will sit on nicely without any problems. Mm, more or less. Unfortunately one of the string is a, a bit shorter than the other one and that's why it kind of pulls it to the side. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video comrades. Be sure to check back for a democratic video next time. And 43 out.